We're going to do some more um, simplifying with exponents, but this time where the numbers are in the base. Okay, so we know that we've got a whole lot of rules that we can use to deal with exponents when we want to simplify. So if we're asked to simplify something like this, we can apply these rules. The only thing to note, of course, is the rules that go something like this. You know, if you've got two things multiplied together, you add the exponents. If you've got two things divided, you subtract the exponents. It only works if you've got the same base. And here you've got a 2, an 8, and a 4 as the base. So you actually aren't going to be able to apply these rules. So what we need to do is get the base the same. But obviously you know that 8 is 2 cubed, and you know that 4 is 2 squared. So we can actually get it in terms of the same base. So let's start by doing that. We're going to write everything in terms of 2. So 8, in place of 8, we're going to put 2 cubed. And that's being raised to the 2x. And in place of 4, we're going to put 2 squared. And that's getting raised to the x. So now we can go ahead and use this rule, right? a to the m all to the n is a to the mn. So it's 2 to the 3 all to the 2x is 2 to the 3 times 2x, which is 2 to the 6x. And the same thing for the same rule we'll use at the bottom. It's going to be 2 to the power of 2x. Now we go ahead and we apply our rules. Here, when we're multiplying numbers, we know we add the exponents. So what we'll get is 2 to the negative x plus 6x. And then, of course, when we divide by 2 to the 2x, we're just going to subtract the exponent. So we're going to subtract 2x, and so what we'll have here is 2 to the negative x plus 6x gets me to 5x, subtract 2x gets me to 3x. And that's a perfectly decent answer as is, but you could also note that this is the same as 2 cubed to the power of x, and 2 cubed is 8, so another way of writing this would be 8 to the power of x. Either way, this or this would be fine. I just want you to notice that 2 to the 3x is the same as 2 cubed to the x, so it's the same as 8 to the power of x. Let's have a look at another quick example. This one here, we can see that 15 is 5 multiplied by 3. And so what we get here is that we've got 5 to the 4x and then 3 to the 4x and then 5 to the negative x and then 5 to the 3x. So what we can simplify and sort down are the things which have the 5 as the base because we can only use our rules of exponents when everything has the same base and so we get 5 to the 4x plus negative x and then subtract 3x and that 3 to the 4x we can do nothing with and um, 4x subtract x gives me 3x, subtract 3x gives me 0, so I get 5 to the 0 times 3 to the 4x, and 5 to the 0 is 1, so 1 times 3 to the 4x is 3 to the 4x. Again, that's completely fine to leave it like that, but you could also take note that this is 3 to the 4, all to the power of x, and 3 to the 4 is going to be 81. So this is 81 to the power of x.